Hey everybody, I hope y'all are having a good day. I'm just trying to put this little message on the sound waves for anybody that's an immigrant thinking of coming to America, anybody that's already in America and thinking about whether or not they should go to a diaspora or leave the country. If I was you, I surely would. And as soon as I get the chance, when I find some type of program or exchange something, I'm gonna probably try to get out of America. I was riding with my girl earlier and I was just telling her how like, everybody I ever met that did some corrupts, just fucked up shit, stealing up, just crazy shit have always been blessed. People stay looking out for them. People stay coming for them. Then I, I was telling her like, man, my whole life I've done that's right. I was beating the church when I was younger. I was forced to do good. Then as I grew up, plenty of times I could have robbed people, stole from people, played women, all kind of crazy shit. Then she, she looked at me and said while she was driving, well, it's your fault. You chose to do this. You told my mom and did it, or you told your mom you retired and then I got kicked out. And it's like, no, I didn't. It's like you was threatening to leave all the time because we was arguing. And you was talking shit about me. It's like, bro, in America, y'all, I'm telling y'all, as men, they keep trying to make it seem like misogyny. And, yeah, it's some men with power that do that. But for the most part, like, real talk, as an African-American, you come to America and tell me how many skinny-ass African-American men you see while you see bloated-ass black women everywhere. Why is that? I'm telling you. They don't give us jobs. They take our children and award women when we're not in the fucking homes. Same happened with my BM. I was the one taking care of the fucking kids. Then she got tired and brought them to my mama's house. I gave my mama the link car and all the, the medical car, all that shit. Then moved down, was taking care of this woman. And the woman I'm taking care of after seven, she's talking about I was helping for Her electric bill was like a thousand. I put all that down multiple times. Then she got the deposits from this shit. Every tax return, I'm giving her and my mama money. Stimulus is I gave her a thousand and my mama two thousand. Like, bro, stop coming to this fucking country. Y'all think y'all gonna get some kind of opportunity? And what's gonna happen is you might do something, and then your kids are gonna be citizens. When your kids are those black African American citizens now, they're going to put them in shitty areas. You're going to live in shitty spots unless you're a wealthy person. They finna keep giving grants to these fucking Arabs and shit and Indians and shit. They own all the gas stations, all the stores. All the Caucasians on the corporate and everything else. When I say it's fucked, here it is. So back to me talking about girl. She said it's your decisions that put you in this in this predicament. Eight years, she got divorced, was with her. Multiple family members commit suicide, dying, I'm with her. Multiple shit going on with her life, kicked out of houses, evictions, all the shit. I'm right there with her doing this, all the shit. But I got a job the whole time. So then she's like, what you're going through right now, you chose. Losing my job, trying to speak truth and help people who are broken. That was my choice. So I'm trying to tell y'all, fuck this Bible. Fuck the book. Fuck all that. They're teaching y'all y'all going to get blessings. And that's not how you're getting blessings. You're going and doing it. Then when people come out and try to awaken people and teach them this shit, they get the fucking destroyed. All my life, whoopings, beatings, church, church, nothing in the world. Try to get to know the world. African-Americans treat me like fucking idiots. Mocking me. Taunting me for having Tourette's Syndrome. Then you get a little older. Oh, all the Caucasians don't want you in other places. And they're going to be like, oh, we love blacks, but secretly not going to do shit for you. I don't know how else to say this. God forbid you're gay. You don't keep talking about the Middle East. Come here if you're gay if you want to. Outside of your little parades and friends, they are going to ridicule you and mock you. The whole idea of this country is bullshit. And I don't understand it no more. The more good you people do here, you're not building nothing and they're going to take it away from you. I was just learning about how... Eight months after this African-American created the first plane, then the Wright brothers came out. The, the dude that finished the plane, when he went to go test it in a competition, disappeared. They stole it from him. This is written history. Then all of a sudden, a little bit later, the Wright brothers come out with a plane. I don't, I don't, even, I don't know what to tell people, man. Like, I don't, shit crazy. That's what's funny. The people that mock me, y'all kids gonna be fucked. Y'all, a lot of African-American women be like, Black women, black women, black men's a problem. And then they have black kids and think their black sons aren't going to be put in the same fucking predicament. You think your black son, if he don't, I don't, <laughs> it's like a joke, man. It's like comedy. I see all these African-American women, big as fuck, walking to these grocery stores, pushing their carts, getting their tax returns. Yeah. And then they talk about conformity. But go ask any random African-American man out here what his fucking baby mama does to him and how she accepts this, these benefits from these Caucasian men in the government. It won't do shit for her baby daddy. Then after calling him a piece of shit and kicking him out and putting him on the streets, they'll go and fuck random dudes and take care of them with their kids' money. So, 
I don't even know, man. This whole people seem slow. They do. Nothing logical. I'ma show y'all something real quick. Watch this, 10 cent. Now this motherfucker do constantly. When I got extra money, he gets it. Quarters, dollars, dimes. Now watch this. Hey, what's up, boss? I got 65. You let me get a cigarette now. Oh, you a dime? Mm -hmm. Thanks, man. Yeah, so that, that time was copacetic because the last time I came up in here, he actually owed me a quarter. And I was like, hey, bro, you still owe me that quarter. Let me uh, put it on my little thing. He was like, oh, no, buddy. It's like, nigga, how do you owe me a quarter and tell me, oh, no. But then if I owe buddy a quarter, when I owe him money, I go in there, he'd be like, hey, man, what about that dime or what about that five cent? Ooh, this whole country, bro, this shit all fucked up. They keep telling y'all the, the, the black... Muslims are fighting with the black African Americans. Why can't we come together? Like I don't know. That's like me saying, "Oh, the what? The black Christians who enslaved Africans in the first fucking place are arguing with the African American." I don't understand how y'all Christian. I don't understand it. This shit. These forefathers and these Christians fucked y'all heads up and y'all lives and everything, man. So I don't. I don't know what to keep doing, man. Like real talk. I called a recruiter. And I was talking to him for a minute, but real talk, I sat and thought about it, and I was like, I'd rather die than join the army, because that's the worst contract of all, y'all. I don't even know how to explain it. Like, nigga, they willing to, because this was funny about the whole situation. I talked to a recruiter and told him about how uh, Patil diagnosed me with depression and how they was acting over me owning a firearm and shit. He said, well, fairly, I could take care of that. And if I got you into the military, you wouldn't have to worry about it. So they know it's a lie, and they're willing to override it if I join the military. But if I'm out here as a civilian, oh, yeah, he might be depressed. We're not going to hire him at a regular store, but we'll get him in. They won't hire me at a regular fucking nursing home or store, but he'll trust me to carry guns and shit and be a part of the military. I told you none of this shit. It's all a cake. They baking us in a fucking cake, so to speak. And don't know. It seemed like people just like, huh, oh, look at these dummies talking. Huh? It's the same thing every generation. 100 years ago, 200 years ago, look at all these African-American freedom fighters who died trying to help y'all motherfuckers. Then when we come up, oh, man, I'm not helping these niggas. Oh, them niggas lazy. Oh, nigga, nigga, nigga. Oh, them ignorant niggas. They bunch of dumb fucking morons. It's moronic. And I can't take it no more, man. I really can't. You know what I'm saying? My biggest problem was ever getting on this camera trying to help people, man. Because as many people say, y'all, you didn't help me. And it's so amazing. Not one fucking person. Like two people have actually checked on me and said, hey, you good? Hey, I see everything that's happening because you made this sacrifice. Hey, I see everything you're doing. But they will go to a fucking character in a book and pay a church millions of dollars for a character in a fucking book that does nothing for them. So, you know what? My girl's right. It is my fault. Helping people is your fault. Remember that. I want you always to fucking remember that. Remember me in my 35 years. Beat as a fucking kid. Tormented in a fucking church. Then got into the world and got beat the fuck up for being good and nice. Y'all remember that shit. Because none of this shit makes sense, man. I could have pimped people. I could have had four, five bitches at the same time. Just all kind of shit. Then a bitch I do take care of for years and years and years. Look me square in my face and say, it's your choices. It was your decisions. And she's right. It was. I'm not advocating for women no more. What y'all do to women in the Middle East, I'm starting to understand why. Every African-American man out here damn near is a poor, skinny man drinking beer and trying to survive and get a job. Meanwhile, I see people in jobs that are limping and half slow, making 50, 60 a year. I can't, I don't even know. So what y'all are doing in, in the Middle East and Asia, that's why America, because they want to continue to enslave the black man and people of color and then give women power. I don't. Because look, most of these women, they'll do it. They'll talk all this shit about their black man or baby daddy, right? These queens y'all talk about, go get all these thousands in tax returns and link every month and child support and all the shit and leave us in the fucking dust while letting a random, no good, no piece of shit nigga live in a house and clap. That's what American women are doing. That's why passport bros exist. That's why all these motherfuckers is going back to the diaspora to get back to Africa. Because this country is garbage and niggas don't want to be slaves for fucking ever. What's up, dog? I mean, look at this shit. You got all these white people in all these houses and everybody doing good, but niggas out here drinking $2 beer and trying to get minimum wage. I see people that's limping got jobs, but they won't hire black men. 
And then they got the nerve to talk about affirmative action. Like I keep telling y'all, when blacks are gone, and it's just y'all motherfuckers now, since that's what y'all love so much, y'all gonna get to know these people that y'all love so much. All you African Americans that's just dancing in the dancing in the streets, right? But them same African Americans, when I get on here and say love everybody, they call me names. Me. Go look at my Black Hebrew Pharisee video and see if everything I say in that video ain't word for word what's in the fucking Bible. But they don't care. They're a bunch of fucking Nazis like their daddy Europe. They're not blacks. I don't know how to keep telling people this. You see them every day. Oh, Africans are the problem. Africans are the They fight each other. There's no relief in this motherfucker. Other races hate you. Your own race hates you and tears you down and talks about you. You got a girl out here. She gonna fucking treat you like shit. Keep coming to America if y'all want to. You want them to keep calling y'all monsters that eat cats and dogs? Why you think China's taking the wand, taking the wand away and uh, all these other nations is going with bricks? America's a middleman. They will literally, when people wanted to, everything was the American dollar before. When people was trying to transfer money to other countries, America was the middleman making bank, paper, paper, paper. Now nobody wants to deal with this Nazi shit no more. They destroy their own value of their dollar and then blame the public. They don't hire nobody but complain there's no jobs in the fucking, or jobs everywhere in the news and people just don't want to work. They fucking sit here and increase all the prices to all their stuff. They basically manipulate people in this whole country. It's like Candyland. And then the same African Americans who will beat your ass for trying to help white people won't be nowhere to be found when your black ass in trouble. That's the irony of it all. I have told my mama multiple times, hey, mama, I need help. Can you help me find a job? You... She told me to go apply at this job on the other side of town. Now, how the fuck am I going to get there every day? The bus don't go out there. I don't have a car. She don't pick her phone up. What's... I'm telling y'all, keep coming to this country if you want to. Everybody that's leaving, I'm warning you. Thank you. Get the fuck out of here, man. This shit is hell. This is why Middle Eastern people keep wanting to go to war. This is why China and Russia don't like the EU and America. They keep calling them dictators and America still institutes slavery. It's in the Constitution. Who's the most locked up race in America? Blacks. If you get locked up, you lose your rights and become a slave again. It's in the Constitution. So a buddy of mine was asking me a while ago, oh, buddy, how can you like white people? For the wrong reasons. And now, because I continually try to help blacks and whites, none of them like me. They either want me to be pro-nigga killing, oh, yes, sir, yes, master. Or they want me to be pro-cracker killing, yeah, Django Unchained. When I don't want nothing to do with none of this shit and help everybody, them same stupid motherfuckers try to attack me. So in the future, when we're all gone, and your grandchildren, all you women out there that have little black boys... That talk so much about your baby daddies and us no good niggas. They're next. I hope you all have the tears and the, the ability to hold them when these next generation of ain't shit bitches fuck these little niggas up. Since that's what y'all wanted so much.